I'm bad at video games. Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you some boss fights today from Iron Keep. Um, basically, by this point in the game, I realized that uh, the game was hard and I die a lot. And you guys don't need to watch me just like dying a million times. And I don't need to be talking the whole time when I'm dying over and over again. So I... I just, I recorded a bunch of video, uh, and, uh, basically I'm just going to keep mostly my boss fight wins, maybe some boss fight losses. Um, and I'm going to do some commentary over it. So this guy, the old iron King, um, he's in the iron keep, which is this like, uh, pretty cool. Uh, like this was, I feel like the point in the game where it really started to feel dark soulsy. You know, he's, you can see that he, he's this giant demon guy. Um, and, uh, you know, you're, you're in this castle that's all like fire and brimstone and whatnot. And there's cool, like tor turtle looking guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. They give, it was just like, it was like, I think I was, it was also, it was a point in the game where I was like the correct level. To where it was very challenging, but I also was uh, was leveling up very fast when I was uh, fighting the guys. Um, so I will say this boss a little little underwhelming because I he's kind of he's almost like an act break, like the midpoint of the game. Um, not quite the midpoint of the game, but I don't know. He's definitely one of the more memorable like encounters, but the actual fight. Uh, left a little to be desired because uh, he's not. I like my boss fights when it feels like it's a real person and not a, uh, not just like a series of events or or not even a person, but like if it feels like it's it, if it feels like I'm I'm fighting a, uh, you know, like an AI, like something that can run around and is gonna is gonna do do different things. Based on uh, based on me, based on my actions and all that stuff, but also like that is literally going to you know they could go get a cup of coffee afterwards. Um, like the smelting demon. So yeah, I beat I beat that 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 the previous guy. Um, I beat him. Uh, I took a it took a lot of tries the first night, and then I read a strategy article that basically told me. Um, how to, how to beat him and it was much easier. Um, this guy, I, once I, once I beat the, once I beat the, the old iron King, the, he's actually like midway through the, the old iron King is actually the end of the level. This guy's like midway through the level, depending on how you go. Um, and looking back, I think this was one of my favorite, uh, boss fights in the whole, in the whole game. Um, I'm realizing now that uh, the armor that I used in the late game was was like his armor. Uh, I bought it from a vendor. He didn't give it to me, but uh, still definitely uh, it was his armor. Um, my my only issue with this fight was I, I don't love that he's he's on fire. So if you get too close to him, he does a little bit of damage to you no matter what. Not, you know. Not ideal. Um, and then I died to him a bunch of times. As you can see here. And again, and again, and again. And yeah, it just like he got to these points where he's like cornering you and everything. And, uh... You know, I like here, like I felt like, felt like I had a shot. I get him, I got, I'd get him real low here. I've got a magic, I think, um, thing on me, but yeah. And I really was feeling that like looking back on this, I really was feeling that, that chunk of health that you lose because you, uh, because you've died too many times and you're not, and you're hollowed. That was rough. Um, you might notice here that I have a helmet on. Uh, I think this is the first time all game because I wanted to, I, I really liked my character's face and I didn't want to cover it up. Um, but 
it just seemed it seemed but I was I was just needing any any little inkling of advantage here. Um and you know, just I couldn't I must have not either I, I think it was at a point at this point in the game you can't like reliably get humanity. Um or whatever the whatever the item is that that restores your humanity. Uh, otherwise, I would have probably like later in the game. I probably would have restored my humanity. Uh, you know, once it gets down that low. Uh, yeah, you can see it's it's like it was like my health was like going down, even though he wasn't he wasn't even hitting me. Um. Yeah. Oh man, this is a heartbreaker. Oh man. So, uh, but yeah, you can see, but it's like, you can see that this, this boss fight is so much more, so much more dynamic than the, uh, than, than the, the big, the old iron King, uh, boss fight was like, he's, you know, he's jumping around. I'm running around, you know, we're not just, I'm not just trying to, you know, avoid his, avoid his scripted attack. Um, but yeah, it was just like this, this, uh, I, I was just feeling like, although, although in this fight watching back, I definitely took a bunch of hits that I probably could have avoided if I was a perfect player, but I just felt like no matter how many times I dodged him, like I was taking damage when I got too close to him. So here is where I did, uh, I made some choices, um, I went through all of my items. This is sped up here because it takes a little while. And just picked the item that had the most fire resistance for all of the slots. And uh, this is what I got. This is what I ended up with. Basically, uh, man, I, I, really, I really wish that that was smoother. Hopefully... I'm watching a preview of this video. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's smoother in the final cut. And maybe it's just the, it's just Adobe that makes that, that makes that look. I wanted to make it look cool and have it be like a close up or whatever. So I love, I love Dark Souls 2 not having the enemies respawn. If it's going to have these long, long run backs, I must not, I must not have, uh, Died to this guy too many times if there were still enemies respawning. Uh, those things, the water, if you if you put the water on you, then it uh, it helps with your fire resistance, supposedly, in one of the articles I read. I don't know if it's true or not. Um, also, don't remember this stuff being so dark, but... All right, we're almost there. See, so such a run back, but but isn't it, but this is a cool looking level. And imagine you know, there's like archers and people like shooting at you and everything. But yeah, I'm here in my bikini, which is like a yeah, it's like a a mage. I think that armor's from like a mage. But literally, first time I first time I pull it off, you can tell because we're ten minutes in. We're almost ten minutes into the video. The first time I, I I swap out my armor so that I'm in this super no, uh, no you know all the fire resistance. I'm also like at like 20 25 percent encumbrance or something so I can run around like a crazy person. Maybe the game would be easier if I kept uh, kept my weight way way low. Um, that move there is another thing that uh, I that you have to, you have to be careful of in, in dark souls. Like in this game, you just have to figure out sometimes they do just sit there and power up for a minute and you can get a bunch of hits in, but you got to know exactly how many hits you can get in. Cause if you're not careful, then the next thing they do is, is a lot of times like a one hit kill or, or we'll take a, we'll take a lot of your health. Um, yeah, we're still relatively early in the game. So I only have so many Estus flasks. But, uh, 
And also, I, I I hadn't upgraded the Estus flask, so you can see that I'm having a lot of times I'm having to take two to get to back up to full health. But you can see I'm just running around dodging everything. This is this is what Dark Souls is all about, though. Seriously, like you know, balancing the dodge and the gear and the uh, and you know your heals, running to the other side of the stage so you can get your heal going. You know, don't get don't get nervous and try to take your heel uh, when you're way up close. Like, man, it's it's great. This game's so great. This game's so much better than Cuphead. I don't care if a, a bunch of people watched my Cuphead videos. I will say this guy doesn't. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't stumble very much, but. There you go. See you next time.